Locked inside that courtroom cage in Russia, Brittany Griner pleaded one more time for leniency. I made an honest mistake, and I hope that in your ruling that it doesn't end my life here. But the Russian judge did the expected anyway, nine years in prison, with credit for time served since her arrest in February, when cannabis vape cartridges were found in her luggage. I never meant to hurt anybody. I never meant to put in jeopardy the Russian population. I never meant to break any laws here. Very upset, very stressed, and she is, well, she can hardly talk, honestly. So it's difficult time for her. In a statement, President Biden called it one reminder of what the world already knew. Russia is wrongfully detaining Brittany. It's unacceptable. And he called on Russia to release her immediately so she can be with her wife, loved ones, friends and teammates. Congressman Colin Allred called it part of a sham trial and just another cynical way for Russia to try and gain leverage. And the WNBA and NBA said it's our hope that we are near the end of this process of finally bringing BG home to the U.S. Our family wants to be very clear. There is no trade for Brittany without Paul Whelan. From his home in Granbury, Joey Reed, the father of former Russian captive Trevor Reed, reacted to the likelihood now that Griner and American Paul Whelan might be in a proposed prisoner exchange with convicted arms dealer Victor Boot. The reason that they've given her such a stiff sentence, just like they did my son and Paul Whelan, is it makes them more bargainable. But now Griner waits to see if a bargain could finally bring her home. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.